Hey, good evening, and welcome to Ian Metzion, part of Yeshiva YouTube. We're starting the 20th parak today, Mosef Shabbos. I want to discuss Mishnah Beis. In the second half of the Mishnah Beis, it says, the Ocean on Nulim Shabbos. You can make basically a cocktail, which is basically where I described it as making, you know, one third part wine. Wine doesn't necessarily mean actual wine, it can mean whiskey or vodka or something like that, or rum um, or gin, um, and also have honey and also. A fruit juice, you can make that. You can make this concoction it's called mixology, You're mixing drinks. Um, you normally know, really bartenders know how to do it, but I know how to do it also. I'm learning how to do it. I'm an amateur. Um, Rabbi Yuda Omer, Rabbi Yuda says, Bishab is because Rabbi Yuda says on Shabbos, you can make you can only mix one cup worth of drink. But Yom Tov Balag, and on Yom Tov, you can make enough for a pitcher to put on a table for a lot of people to enjoy. On Cholamoid, you can put it in a barrel, even presumably you're not going to use it on that day of Cholamoid. You might use it in two months from now. You can make it if you have extra time on Cholamoid. We saw the Gomer Kolofi Archon. We saw this says it's not about the size. It depends how many people you're having over, right? You have to build the service the people. So therefore, even on Shabbos, if you're having a lot of people over, you can make enough that's for a barrel, mix enough drink for a barrel, um, because it's necessary for today. Now, the way the Rav Avadya Bartanura learns is that it's a three-way machlokas. Osen Anumim Shabbos is Tanakam. No matter what, even if you're not going to use it for today, you can make enough for a Chavis. Right? Rabbi Huda says it depends, right? On Shabbos, you can only make a little bit. You don't have a little more. On Cholom a lot. Shadok says it depends how many people you're having. If you're having a lot of people, technically you can make a Chavis. So it seems the Tanakama um, is the most makeable. Even if you're not having a lot of guests, you can make it a Chavis according to the Tanakama. I don't believe that the Tanakama. Um, is a third opinion over here. I believe Rabbi Huda and Rabbi Sadak are have a machlokas, a tuya machlokas, about what does it mean, Osin and the Shabbos. You'll have to make it. What are the criteria for making? Rita says on Shabbos, the most you can make is a cup. And normally when we have Rabbi Huda and Rabbi Sadak, we're going to pass on the Rabbi Huda. The reason Rabbi Huda says specifically on Shabbos, one cup, is because if you mix drinks, right? You're a professional mixing drinks, you're a bartender. To mix one cup of drinks. Now the problem over here is lisha, right? Making a concoction. That's what lisha is. You're making a concoction, right? Something which is a malach on Shabbos. If you do it on a large measure, that's considered like a business-like activity. Bartenders get paid to be a bartender. However, if you do it for one cup, right? That's like a personal use, right? Um, even me, like I could be a bartender and mix one drink, you know. But if you're gonna make login, if you're gonna make a pitcher's worth, that's a large amount. You probably have to be a professional to do that. So on Yom Tov, where there's Heter for Ochel Nefesh, Alicia is Mutter for Ochel Nefesh, it's okay. Right? You can't make for an Achavis, the mound for a barrel, because that's not making for Yom Tov itself. You're making for after Yom Tov. But Chalamoa, you're allowed to do that because um, Dover Ha'ave, right? It's, it, you're going to lose, you know, making a large amount um, will save you money, right? If you have to make sh small amounts at a time, you're going you're gonna to lose money. So to make a big barrel, save you money. Dara Abed is mutter on Cholomoy, even if it's right after in the Moe. That's why on Cholomoy. So the Lachas like Rabbi Yehuda, that only on Shabbos, you can only make one cup. Because if you make more than a cup, it's considered a professional activity. To make even a pitcher of a mixed drink, that's something only a professional bartender can do. And it's considered a commercial activity, a commercial leash. However, making one cup, even me, I can go, sometimes I go to people's house for Shabbos, and I like to make cocktails for other people. When they come here, I make cocktails also. So that's not necessarily a professional activity. I make one drink for one person on a limited basis. It's not a business-like activity, and that's why it's mutter. Hope you enjoyed today's share. See you in the next one.